Hello everyone, in the second video of soft tissue treatment series, we are going to practically demonstrate the suboccipital soft tissue release technique that can be utilized by the physiotherapist to treat upper cervical pain and dysfunction and also treat cervicogenic headaches. Now I have already made lot many videos on treatment for neck pains and cervicogenic headaches. This soft tissue treatment technique can again be used by physiotherapists to promote relaxation in their patients and treat that uneasiness and discomfort that the patient complains of in the upper cervical spine. So to perform this technique, the therapist is going to make the patient assume the supine lying position and the therapist is going to sit at the head end of the table. Now the therapist is going to utilize the finger pads of both the hands and these are going to be placed with the palm up position over the suboccipital region. So in the palpatory video for the suboccipital region, I have mentioned how we can start from the occipital bone and keep coming down and the place where the palpation becomes springy rather than bony is our suboccipital fossa. So I have to be right in and around the suboccipital fossa for this technique. So after the finger pads are placed, I am going to draw my palms out so that the head can rest on the table. And now what I am going to do is I am going to apply a ventral force into the soft tissues. After the soft tissues are engaged in this manner, I am also going to add up an oblique and superior force. And now while maintaining this soft tissue stretch at the end range, I am going to hold it here for around 4 to 5 seconds before returning back to the neutral position. So please note that we are using the finger pads and not the fingertips. Please ensure that we are not digging into the fossa using our fingertips. It is the action of anterior force and oblique and superior force that we are utilizing to perform this technique. So let me again demonstrate once in the close-up view. So I take my finger pads of both hands and I place them just around the suboccipital region. So this is the suboccipital region. So I'm going to place my finger pads here and then I'm going to bring my palms out so that the head can rest on the treatment table and then I engage these soft tissues in the anterior direction and then after the soft tissues are engaged in this manner I also adds up an oblique and superior force. So this is how I can deliver the suboccipital release technique. Again this technique can be utilized in a rhythmic or a constant manner. So I can hold it here for 4 to 5 seconds and again go back to the neutral position. Repeat this for around 2 to 3 minutes for the beneficial effects or I can also deliver a sustained stretch to the suboccipital tissues for around 2 to 3 minutes before returning back to the neutral position. Now at this point I would specially like to mention important information related to physiotherapy students. The important muscles of the suboccipital region that we are treating here are the rectus capitis posterior major and minor and the obliquus capitis superior and inferior. These muscles helps in connecting the C1 and C2 spine with the base of the skull and they are responsible for producing the upper cervical extension and rotation movements. Because of the forward neck posture and subsequent upper cervical extension, these muscles and their fascia become tight and they are responsible for producing this cervical pain and stiffness and also cervicogenic headache. So by utilizing this technique, we can successfully treat such patients and help them in relieving such symptoms. Do try this technique on your patients and provide us your valuable feedback about the outcome of therapy sessions. Even the family members and friends are going to complain of cervical pain and stiffness. So they are the first one on whom you can try this technique. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.